Hey, this is Kenny Roy, co-author of How to Cheat in Maya 2013. I'm just gonna go through one of the cheats in the book with you right now so you can get a little behind the scenes, maybe um, hear a little bit what I'm thinking when I'm going through this cheat. Uh, this cheat is available in the book along with hundreds of others. The book is available on Amazon and howtocheatinmaya.com right now and on bookshelves everywhere. But let's jump into the work, shall we? So here I've loaded a rig. This guy's called Morpheus. He's a free rig available online at joshburton.com. Um, he's really great. But I'm using him to illustrate a, uh, a cheat that has to do with checking the silhouette of your character. Now when you're working with a character, it's common to want to check the silhouette. Um, do we have nice rhythm? Are we having you know, a nice play between the positive and negative space and, and all those issues? And, uh, and silhouette is, you know, it's really easy to check if you have a certain number of parameters uh, in place. And normally what you do is you just hit 7. And now what 7 does is it turns on the preview of the lights. Okay? So the lights are being previewed right now. And that's great and all, but with, uh, with a light added to the scene, Okay, like, like we have right here, and I rotate around the light, you see that I'm actually seeing the light. So to see the silhouette by hitting seven, um, and obviously because there's no lights in the scene, everything's pitch black, right? Um, to, to use that method only works when you have no lights. Uh, another instance when it doesn't work, and this is uh, the uh, rig that I use in the cheat um, in the book, is here's another character. Okay, um, this is uh, Groggy, and he has a little bit of ambient light added to his materials. Now we do that so that things, so that there's never a totally black shadow on the character, and, and that's, this is a sort of a little bit of a, a cheat, a little bit of a trick because rendering translucency and subsurface scattering and making you know, skin looks super waxy and, and all those kinds of things. Those are actually computationally expensive and this is a, this is a quicker way to get to that. So we have a, a rig that has ambient light and if I hit 5 to go back to just the smooth mesh, mesh preview and I go back to 7, if I toggle back and forth, I'm not getting too much more information from this, uh, from this uh, uh, lighting preview. Okay, so what I like to do is if you change your uh, selection mask to just geometry or if you go into show and turn on none and then just go polygons, um, either way, you select everything and then in your render tab here, which is where your render layers are held, okay, you make a new layer from selected. This is this button on the far right. If you click that and then select your layer, Okay, and then you're going to make a material override. And what a material override does is it applies the same material to all objects in the layer. It's very simple to do. Right click, go to Overrides, create new material override, and go up to Surface Shader. Now, Surface Shader is by default black, so this will work instantaneously. Let go, and then it applies that black material to um, to groggy, okay, but only in this layer, layer one, okay. Now we can double click on it and relay, uh, rename it silhouette. I think I spelled that right. I hope. <laughs> and then go if we click on master layer. Now this is the great thing about that. We can have lights in the scene, okay. Here's a directional light now. Um, I have to hit uh, show lights. Where is it? Show lights. Here it is. Okay. If I hit 7, you can see that it's, being, it's updating, right? And not only is the light not added to this layer, okay, but even if it was, if I right click and hit add selected objects, now the light is even in the layer. And I'm on lighting preview, it doesn't matter. So if I remove selected objects, and you see that I'm in uh, light mode, even if I go back to just smooth shaded mode, if I hit 5, okay, remember, lighted, or lit, not unlit, lit, unlit, right? So if I'm on just smooth mesh preview and I go back to silhouette layer, there you have it. You have your nice silhouette layer that you can always just click on. It's one click away. 
and you, it doesn't matter how many lights you add, it doesn't matter if your character has materials that uh, have ambience on them, it's, it's always at your fingertips. So there you have it. Um, like I said, it's always a great idea to check your silhouette constantly. Uh, this is a great way to do it. Not only is it at your fingertips at all times, you never have to turn on or off lights, you never have to change materials or any other settings or setups that might screw up your uh, scene and cost you a lot of time. It's a great cheat. So thanks for watching. Please check out this cheat and hundreds more in How to Cheat in Maya 2013. You can find the book on Amazon, howtocheatinmaya.com or on bookshelves. Uh, good luck with your animation and as always, rock on.